gonna heal that shit. This one runs on a CATL battery. So does this, and all these as well. Why do they all use our batteries? Because they just last longer. Let's check the battery life of this guy right here. It hasn't been in service for very long. So it still has more than 99% capacity. The oldest packs here have been in service for over 1,400 days, with more than 2,800 cycles. Yet they still hold 93% of capacity. Based on our battery life management algorithms, they'll run another 4 years without affecting port operations. Some might say port electrification is simple. Just swap out the engine and fuel tank for a motor and a battery, right? Well, don't underestimate the CA here. The air carries a lot more chloride and sulfate ions. Once these invisible particles come into contact with metallic surfaces, they trigger reactions that speed up corrosion. The rust on the outside makes the metal brittle. Take this AGV beside me. Here's the battery pack. We designed double protection for the battery. First, the integrated pack keeps cells in both high and low voltage harnesses from exposure. The casing is treated with electrophoretic coating, plus powder coating. Even after a 720-hour salt spray test, it keeps working steadily. Thanks to cell to pack CTP technology and higher density cells, total capacity has climbed to 373 kilowatt hours, while weight has dropped by nearly a ton. This double gain extends AGV endurance to 12 hours, enough with just one battery swap a day. When it comes to port equipment, what matters even more is durability. Everyone already knows electricity is cheaper than fuel, but we're not stopping there. That's why these batteries are designed for a long service life. In real-world terms, you can use them for over 8 years, even if they are charged twice a day. Batteries that need to be replaced in 2 to 3 years would be too costly to use. So it's not only EVs, even port equipment depends on CATL batteries. 